but the concept with evidence-based practice is that you use the evidence in your practice and so we'll even have conversations this semester on the difference and I had you read an article already on the difference between QI quality improvement research and evidence-based practice and they all have a part in place but evidence-based practice is what your practice should be based on and should be using the evidence in your practice and so how do we educate others to be able to do that and how do you base your practice on it and so when you find things and I was kind of saying this to you all along is when you have the evidence to support the implementation it's not research it's that this is what I should be doing in my practice and so I need to implement it so at the end of this course we're going to focus on what that implementation plan will be and then how are you going to measure the outcomes to determine that what is the outcome that you saw in the evidence that you looked at is what you're getting and then that determines if your implementation was effective or not because you still want it to be effective with your patients and so we're not looking at large sample sizes we're not looking at uh, we're looking at return on investment of you implementing it but we're not looking at from a research perspective we're not looking at a huge sample so we're not looking at the big P value we're looking at the uh, opportunity to see has it made an effect so you're going to look at effect size over other things. So like when you do a t-test, if you're going to do a t-test on your thing, you're going to compare two means to two groups. Your groups are going to be so small, you're not going to see a significant, a statistical significance, but you want to know if it's clinically significant in your area. And so that's what we're going to focus on throughout the time that you're in the program. I'm going to introduce you to that this semester, but we're going to move toward that. And so that's why we're going to, to this day, we're going to focus on the implementation piece of the evaluation and synthesis to get you down and hone you in on exactly what it is that you're going to implement because you guys have all amazing projects but you can't implement everything all at one time so what we need to figure out is what piece exactly so I guess that brings me to the question is define evidence-based practice for me and how you perceive evidence-based practice to be in your practice